Certified organic food almost always comes with a higher price tag. Why do food manufacturers crank up the prices on organics? Now, there are a set of national rules that have been established by the United States Department of Agriculture which give us many more specifics on the products that can and cannot be used um, in organic production systems. If you are a food manufacturer and you want to use the organic seal on your products, you must follow the regulations of the United States Department of Agriculture's National Organic Program. The modern day American conventional farm has increasing reliance on synthetic inputs. One of the reasons that uh, many farmers are using inputs, pesticides, fertilizers, is because they're relatively and inexpensive to use. If you convert to organic systems, you can no longer rely on these uh, relatively inexpensive chemical uh, pesticides and chemical fertilizers, and you have to, in many cases, use much more expensive means of controlling pests, diseases, and weeds, and uh, providing the nutrients for your crop to grow. Typically, organic inputs are quite a bit more expensive than uh, standard conventional inputs. When you look at it on a per unit cost, how much it costs per pound of phosphorus, how much it costs per pound of nitrogen, tend to be a lot more expensive, therefore they're a lot more bulky to transport, they are a lot more expensive to put down and take longer to actually produce the nutrients that the plants are looking for. Not only does it require more labor, but it requires more uh, trips across the field with a tractor to cultivate. To, we do flame weeding, we do a lot of things that a conventional farmer would not have to do, and these do cost more. In addition to that, many of the organic systems, the, the yields are, are not as the same. So producers not only take a, a hit when they move from conventional agriculture to um, organic agriculture, they will take a hit not only because their inputs are in many times more expensive, but actually their yields go down. I think the, the terms of, of small-scale producers, because their production costs are higher, in order to survive and to, to become and to stay profitable and sustainable in the long term, they have to uh, get a, a higher price than the uh, than the conventionally produced uh, crops and, and vegetables. So generally, locally grown products are higher quality, and you know where your money is going. However, when it comes to the the, uh, the case of uh, large scale agro industries uh, jumping on the organic bandwagon, I think there is a lot of you know trying to get a little bit more a premium for their crops, which they wouldn't otherwise. Certified organic farmers are prohibited from using conventional agriculture's cost-saving inputs, and yields are typically lower too. In the end, it's up to you to decide if the higher price tag is worth it.